everybody what's up welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a super fun one because i'm going to be showing you guys all of the books i own a bookshelf tour um i actually own three bookshelves so you guys are going to see a lot so grab a snack i'm going to jump into it because it's going to be a lot of books get ready to see all the books i own so anyways this bookshelf has a lot of random stuff on it it's mostly series though so there is some sort of organization Next up i have the maze runner I have the hunger games series so excited for another movie to be coming out so exciting um i have the divergent series i have the if i stay series then kiara cass is one of my favorite like young adult authors so i have the entire selection series along with her newer series uh the betrothed I have the Shadow and Bone series along with the Six of Crows duology. Haven't read those, but really hope to soon. So first off, I have the Off Campus series. I feel like this is super popular. It's a five book series about college age students, about four hockey players finding their love. Super cute. Loved it. Um, then I have a series that I haven't seen a lot about. It is the Water Trilogy. No, the Breathless Trilogy. Um, I saw this at Barnes & Noble and got it and then got the two other books off of Thrift Books. I uh, have no idea what it's about, but I'm going to read it eventually. Next, I have a Persephone and Hades retelling that I have not touched a single book of, but that is A Touch of Darkness. I'm pretty sure there's another book, but that's the only three that I have, and I probably won't read this for a little bit, but I, I will eventually read them. And then the last series I have back here is a Shatter Me series. I'm not going to pull those out just because there is like so many of them but i do own all of those and i read all of them that book series is one of my absolute favorite dystopian novel series moving down the trifecta these are all my comfort movies i know that's probably embarrassing to say but i'm gonna say it along with these pride and prejudice maybe that redeems me a little bit if you don't understand how all of these are connected i will give you a quick explanation 9 11 influenced the main singer of my chemical romance to start their band um, and then My Chemical Romance was one of the inspirations for Twilight. So Twilight came about. And then Fifty Shades of Grey is obviously fan fiction of Twilight. And then after, yes, it was a fan fiction of Harry Styles, but it was based on um, Fifty Shades of Grey. So all of these are connected. So I love Twilight so much. It's my favorite thing ever. And so, of course, I love all of these just by default. And also, I think they are pretty good. But anyways, yes, I have The Host by Stephanie Meyer along with the entire Twilight series. That includes Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, Midnight Sun, Life and Death, and then The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner. I also have the entire collection of um, Fifty Shades of Grey. I have the first three. This is from Anastasia's point of view. And then these three are the same books but told from Grey's point of view. So super fun. Um, and then yeah, I also own all of the after books. I don't own Landon's like spinoff series or whatever, but I do own like the main books. Um, yeah. The only books behind this is actually the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. I'm currently reading this. I'm almost done with it. Hey guys, and we're already on the last shelf. So the first books I have is the Red Queen series and I have the main four. And then I have Broken Throne with Cruel Crown, which are include like novellas and kind of like an epilogue to the series. Um, I actually have my Homecoming Crown on top because I just thought it was fitting. And I have my book journal and then my book embosser just to add some more to it. And then right here I have the Percy Jackson series and then of course Akatar, one of my favorite uh, novels, if you can't tell, like, I think I own all of Sarah J Maas's books. If I don't, that is really shocking. The only thing behind here is a Cruel Prince series, and I can't pull it out because I have, like, a Tetris thing going on, but I think that is it for bookshelf number one. We are over at my tall bookshelf. This one is from Target. It's the, like, popular, um, ladder-styled shelf. And yeah, I will just start up here on this plant from Target. I'm pretty sure it's just a fake banana plant. I'm pretty sure I have my Polaroid camera. I have a brownie and then I have a film camera. And then behind it, I have She Inspires, um, which is just a table side book. And then these hippo bright hot pink um, string lights are actually from my friend Allison. She got these for my birthday last year, which is super nice of her. I love them so much. I think they're super cute. Um, but yeah, let's get into the books. Starting off, I have Hannah Ornstein's three books. I think she has a few more, but I have three of her contemporary. I think this is actually the series that, like, started off my contemporary romance love. Um, 
because I started reading those in the COVID times. Um, but anyways, yeah. Um, first, I have Always in December by Emily Stone. I have The Spanish Love Deception, Good Girl Complex, The Summer of Broken Rules, Red, White, and Royal Blue, One Last Stop, You Deserve Each Other, How to Love Your Neighbor, and then I have two books by Josie Silver, which I actually haven't read, and that is The Two Lives of Lydia Bird, and then One Day in December, and then I have The Flat Share. Um, and then these books over here are kind of like categorized by author. So I have Christina Lauren, um, Love in Other Words, and The Unhoneymooners. I have Sally Thorne, The Hating Game, and Second First Impressions. Then I have the Brown Sister Trilogy, and my personal favorite is Actor Age, Eve Brown. This book is so good. I read the series, I think, last July, and oh my gosh, just thinking about it, I'm just like, this book was so sweet. You hear my dog, he's stretching, so I apologize, but we're going to keep on going. Uh, the next two books I have are The Song of Achilles and then Circe, or Circe, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, um, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, by Madeline Miller, and then the last two I have is the Call Me By Your Name uh, duology, I guess. Call Me By Your Name and then Find Me. Moving down, this is kind of like my literary fiction shelf. I kind of honed it that, but not all these books are literary fiction. Uh, starting off with my knickknacks, I had two hippos. Um, I think London got this for me, and then my dad and uh, brother got this for me somewhere. I don't know. Two hippos. Um, and I love them very much. So starting off from the very left, I have Angela Carter Love. I actually think this is considered a classic, but I decided to have it here, kind of. Uh, then I have The Virgin Suicides. I have Woman by Chloe Caldwell. I have The Vanishing Half. This book is super good. And then I have three of Otessa Mosh Moshef books. I have three of her books. The only one I've read is My Year of Rest and Relaxation, but I have Eileen or Aileen. And then Death in Her Hands. She's coming out with a new book uh, pretty soon and I really want it. I have My Dark Vanessa, Maggie O'Farrell's My Lover's Lover. I have the Famous Bunny uh, novel. Then I have Milk Fed. I have two of Dolly Alterton's books. I have her fiction Ghost. And then this is actually her memoir. And I do have a non, uh, I have a nonfiction shelf, but I decided to just leave her books together. Then I have two of Eve Babbitt's uh, books. I have Sex and Rage and then L.A. Woman. And I have um, two actually like TV series adaptations, which is Firefly Lane and then Little Fires Everywhere. I have Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. This was super popular. It's a really good book. I have The Color Purple, which is, again, I'm pretty sure this would be considered a classic, but I just put it here. Writers and Lovers by Lily King, Diary of an Oxygen Thief. My favorite fiction book, not actually my favorite fiction book, but I always read this literally every single year. It's one of my favorite fantasy fiction novels. Build Your House Around My Body, Somebody Loves You, Room, and then these two aren't really literary fiction, but I have Ice Planet Barbarians and then Barbarian Alien. This is the fourth shelf. We're almost to the very bottom. And this is kind of like my darker books slash some YA. Um, honestly, just a random shelf. This little mirror I have right here is from Urban Outfitters. But yeah, I'm just gonna get started. The first four books I have are by Lisa Jewell. She is one of my favorite mystery um, novelist. I've actually only read three of them. I haven't read The Family Upstairs, but just from her writing, I do really enjoy her. She, I think she is an English author or she's from Europe, uh, so her writing is fun to read, but super good. Gone Girl, which is one of my favorite by Julian Flynn. She's actually a KU alum, which is really cool. Then I have The Last Mrs. Parrish, The Wife Upstairs, The Silent Patient. Then I have uh, two of the books from A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I don't have the third one because it's not out in paperback, and I'm actually not going to read that series till I have the third book. Starting down here, I have Dinner Vipers, which I actually have no idea what it's about. I have The Body on the Bed, which I actually have signed from the author. I'm pretty sure he was a professor at KU, and I'm pretty sure that that book is set in Lawrence. I can't remember, but he does books based in Kansas, and I'm a University of Kansas student, so it's really cool to see. Then I have the independently published um, The Atlas Six, Credence, have no idea what it's about, Birthday Girl, and Punk 57, all of those are by Penelope Douglas. I have They Both Die at the End, All the Bright Places, along with Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven. 
And then I have the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy. Here I have My Life Next Door, Just Friends, Speak, Looking for Alaska, and The Raft. Actually, this is actually my last shelf. If you guys watched my book organizing video, like I said, it's a little bit different. But I have some leftover hardcovers along with most of my classics. Not most of them, just some of them. Over here we have Sarah J Moss's uh, The Crescent City series. Um, super excited to read this. I'm currently reading Throne of Glass. Um, so I think it's going to be great. I also have The Hate You Give, The Lovely Bones, um, Matt Haig's The Midnight Library. I have Five Feet Apart and All This Time. I have The Book of Lies, and those are all like my leftover hardcovers. And then over here are my classics. I have 1984 by George Orwell. Or I feel like I don't pronounce that right, but I thought this cover was super pretty, so I decided to pick it up. I have a portrait of the artist as a young man, the Aguero sisters, Party and Prejudice, The Woman in White, 100 Years of Solitude, To the Lighthouse, um, Colson Whitehead's The Intuitionist. Then I have Toni Morrison's Song of Solomon. I have Carmilla, Little Women, and then the last book on the shelf is to kill a mockingbird yeah that is my second shelf starting at the bottom of the shelf i have all of my nonfiction. actually not all of it uh because as you can tell i have a few uh placed around but a majority of this is nonfiction. first this is kind of like my religion side i have this prayer journal that i actually won on a goodreads giveaway so super cool um i have a devotional and then two new testament testament books and then down here i have um three devotionals two of them are by lisa turkhurst and then one is by lisa uh, bevere i have the chase by kyle and kelsey kupecki brave by lee wolf bloom i have two of bob goff's books love does and everybody always i have three of sadie robertson's which is live fearless live who are you following then I have three of Rachel Hollis, Girl Wash Your Face, Girl Stop Apologizing, and Didn't See That Coming. First I have two Bell Hooks books. I have All About Love and then Feminism is for Everybody. I have Florence Givens, Women Don't Owe You Pretty. This book is gorgeous. And I believe this is nonfiction. Yeah, it's a heartbreaking work of staggering genius. These two books aren't nonfiction, but they're kind of pocket solve uh they're pocket sized novels. So I actually keep them just kind of hidden away. But that's the Duke and I and then Every Breath. I have The Body Keeps the Score, Chanel Miller's Know My Name, Captivating, We Demand, 13 Things Mentally Strong Women Don't Do, Gospel 101, The Hand of God, and then Gay Awareness. Here I have some hidden books. I have Is God Anti-Gay? I have Into the Wild and then Recipes for Disaster. A lot of these are journals, so the first uh, book after that is David Rodiger's Seizing Freedom. Then I have Being Human, Game Changing Moves, I'll Teach You How to Be Rich, uh, The Glass Castle, The Spirit Catches You and You Fall Down, Braiding Sweetgrass, The Emotional Entrepreneur, 101 Essays That Will Change the Way You Think, and then I have Get Out of Your Head by Jenny Allen, and then a devotional called Life is Blank 40 Day Experience. Moving on to a fun shelf, I have all of my hardcovers. Up here I have Cleopatra and Frankenstein by Coco Mellers. I have Atomic Habits. This is actually a nonfiction, but I just put it up here with the hardcovers. Uh, along with She Said, that's also a nonfiction feminist type of book. I have The Golden Couple, A Little Hope, Fiona and Jane, The Love Hypothesis, Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid, The Dating Plan, The Heart Principle, The Bright Test, The Kiss Quotient. These three are actually a series. They're all super good. I have My Body, a collection of essays, Holiday Swap, and then Three Women. So I have a few nonfiction on here. I have The Maidens, which is the same author as The Silent Patients. I have The Cartographers. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not actually sure. I have X Hex, The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren, Rock the Boat by Beck Dory Stein, uh, Where the Crawdads Seen, Seven Days in June, which this book is so good. June is coming up, so you guys should definitely pick that one up. Other Black Girl, Necessary Lies, Today Will Be Different, Lore, and then up here I have Arya Dean, actually don't know how to pronounce that. Um, I have 56 Days and then The Woman in the Window. The third shelf has my vinyl on it. I have a lot of Taylor Swift. Uh, Lana Del Rey, Billie Eilish, and then I have one Casey Musgraves, and I actually have three signed CDs from Taylor along with Lana Del Rey poetry book. And these are the last two shelves. This is like my favorite authors essentially, but on here I have two more hippos. This is from the British Museum. 
of a woman's vase from Urban Urban Outfitters. So I have Taylor Jenkins Reid, I have Maybe in Another Life, Daisy Jones and the Six, One True Loves, and then The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Um, and then I have a whole bunch of Colleen Hoover. I have Verity, Layla, Ugly Love, Reminders of Him, Confess, Heart Bones, Without Merit, November 9, It Ends With Us, Regretting You. I had the Hopeless series, so that's Hopeless, Losing Hope, Finding Cinderella, then All Your Perfects, and then Finding Perfect. And then I also have the second and third book of, um, I think it's called Slammed. I'm not sure my neighbor actually gave me those two books. I still need the first one. Um, and then I have Emily Henry's three books, Beach Read, People We Meet on Vacation, and then Book Lovers. Up here on the last uh, actual shelf, I have a vase that my sister Gracie made. I have a Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs, and then a Volcano Candle. It smells super good. I have another one of my favorite authors, Sally Rooney. I have Normal People, The Scripts, Beautiful World, Where Are You, Conversations with Friends. And then I have Normal People, US Cover, Normal People, uh, UK cover and then I have her short story Mr. Salary. Angling you all the way up here I have the Pride and Prejudice, Persuasion, Emma, Sense and Sensibility, Summer, Night's Dream, Romeo and Juliet, Wuthering Heights, and then Jane Eyre. They're actually super cool covers. They are like Twilight inspired and you guys know I love Twilight. Um, but yeah, super cute. I also own Rupee Cower's uh, three three poetry collections, Milk and Honey, The Sun and Her Flowers, and then Homebody. It just sits on my nightstand under my lamp. And here is my tandem reading guide. Um, but yeah, that is all my books. Okay guys, that is the complete bookshelves tour. Um, before I end this video, I do want to say how many books I own. But before I calculate that, I have to include the books that aren't on my shelves right now. So I only have two that aren't on my shelf and that is A Little Life. Um, that book is beautifully written, but definitely look up content warnings because that one is intense. I also own Sex in the Heartland. That is a nonfiction book uh, by Beth Bailey, who was a uh, was or is a professor at the University of Kansas. So I'm only loaning out two books at the moment. Hopping in to say I did actually forget some books. So of course I want to add them into my total. Also my dog is snoring. But really fast, I forgot to include the Me Before You series. I own all three of them. Um, and then I actually got two new books for my birthday, and that was the Twilight Illustrated Guide. I've never owned that, so I am super grateful for my boyfriend for giving that to me for my 20th birthday. And then I also got a short story nonfiction collection. I think it's nonfiction, but that is Men Without Women. And yeah, that is all the books I currently own at this moment. Are all my books. I'm super excited to get an updated bookshelf tour. I actually have already filmed this before and only one video clip was corrupted. So I could have just filmed that part. But the issue is I just wanted to be in the same outfit. It all to kind of mesh together. So hopefully this video turned out well and I was able to show you guys all the things that I own. But yeah, that is all the books I own. I'm a sh I'm sure it's an obscene number. I own so many books. I will just say buying books and reading books are two separate things that I enjoy both dearly. I am very thankful for all of my books. Just to recap on where all of my bookshelves are from, in case that I didn't mention them or you guys want me to reiterate it that. This three shelf bookshelf is from Walmart. Um, you can customize where the shelves go. I also have the five tiered ladder where you can't really customize it, um, but that is from Target. And then I have these also five shelves, um, Target bookshelf. That was really inexpensive. If I can, if I can find links, I will have them linked down below just for easy access. That one is also like you can customize where the shelves sit. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be having a Throne of Glass series um, reading vlog up very soon. I know I've mentioned it a few times that I'm currently reading that. I'm actually tandem reading um, Empire of Storms and then Tower of Dawn currently while I'm filming this. And it's also my brother's birthday and Memorial Weekend. Super good weekend. And yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and love. Bye guys.